So this video lesson is all about how we can represent large amounts of data with just a few numbers, maybe one or two. Primarily, we're going to be looking at the mean, uh, the median, and the mode, uh, but we'll also get to the range at a point here. Um, but first, let's think about a context we can talk about all of these data points in. So we're going to talk about the height of trees. Now, this tree you see on the left here is called the General Sherman. It's in California. It's the largest tree that we know of, not of height. There are taller trees than the General Sherman. Um, but the General Sherman is the biggest one that we know of, including height and uh, circumference, diameter, radius, just basically the amount of tree that's there, the largest volume of tree it's called. Uh, but we're not going to talk about trees that are quite so big because we're going to look at it with a little bit easier numbers so we can just go through the concept itself. But let's say you've gone to your backyard or to a park somewhere um, and you've found that there are some trees and you've measured the heights fairly accurately and these are the heights of trees that you found. So the first question we want to think of uh, immediately when we get to heights of trees is, well, what, what, what might we want to know? How can we represent this particular data? If we're looking for an easy way of describing this data that we see for the heights of trees, what are a few ways that um, we might be able to do that? Uh, do we want specific numbers? Do we want to represent it visually some way? Uh, think of a few things like that. Pause the video, jot down a few ideas, um, and then come back. So there are lots of different things we could use um, to represent this data. If we wanted to create visual graphs of some sort, then we could do those. Uh, we'll get to those in a later lesson, not in this one. Um, or if we wanted to find ways of combining each of these 10 numbers into maybe one or two representative numbers that describe um, the trees that we've noticed. So the first thing that we notice is there are some very large trees, at least in comparison, 31 feet, and some relatively small trees like 10 feet. So maybe one of the first things we do is we compare the tallest and the shortest trees. Uh, if we looked at them and compared them, we'd find that the tallest tree, which is 31 feet, compared to the shortest tree, which is 10 feet, tallest, shortest, we'll find that there is a 21 foot difference between the largest and the tallest trees that were, or the, rather the largest and the shortest trees that we have. This difference uh, between the greatest and the least values is called the range. Um, so go ahead and pause the video now and write down the definition of range. And for this particular data, our range, the greatest value is 21, or rather 31. The least value is 10. And our range is a range of 21 feet. Now, of course, the range isn't the only way that we can represent the data, and the only thing we can look at. We might want to find the average height of all of these trees. And so thinking back to the averages that you've taken in the past, um, we can remember that in order to find the average, we are just going to add up all the data points and find the sum of everything. And then you divide by the number of data points that you have. So let's take a look at this here. We have uh, all of these heights of trees. Now I'm going to add them, uh, sort of combine them in different orders um, for you to see that we can do this in an easier way. 10 plus 18 is 30. Um, and if you want to pause the video and work on this on your own first, you're welcome to do that. Otherwise, um, just keep watching. 15 plus 25 is 40. 19 plus 31 is 50. And of course, 10 plus 10 is 20, and 12 plus 12 is 24. So now we have 30 plus 20 plus 50 plus 40 plus 24, which gives us a total sum of 164 total feet. Let's double check that to make sure it's right. 30 plus 20 is um, 50, 50 plus 50 is 100, 100 plus 40 is 140 plus 24 is 164. Now, we need to notice too when we find the average that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 different trees that we're looking at. So we're going to divide those 164 total feet by 10 to represent the number of different data points, the number of trees that we have, and end up with 
16.4 feet as an average. And now when we talk about um, data points, we don't tend to use the word average, we use the word mean, the average value of the data set. Find the sum of the values and divide by the number of data points or values that you have. So go ahead and pause the video and write down the definition of mean. Now there are two other types of data points that you can also want to find other than the range um, and the mean. We might be interested in what height of tree appears the most often. What's the most common um, height that we have for these trees? And so if you look at the data on the left, we see that we find a 12-foot tree three times, which is the most. But we also show the a 10-foot tree twice, two different trees that have uh, heights of 10 feet and three different trees that have heights of 12 feet. So these are unique because the other tree heights appear only once. Uh, the 10 foot appears twice and the 12 foot appears three times. So the mode, the data value that appears the most often for this data set is going to be 12 feet. This is called the mode of the data, the one that appears the most often. If you haven't gotten a chance yet, go ahead and pause the video now too and write down the definition of mode. And finally, another way of not an average, but sort of finding the middle value is called the median. Now, to find the median and to talk about it, we have to put the values in order from least to greatest because we want there to be only one median for a set of data. Uh, and so if we put the data in order from least to greatest, that's a very uh, controlled, universal way that we can do that. Uh, we don't want this value to change just based on how we order the heights of the trees. We want the median to be the median. So we order the values from least to greatest. Now we have two trees of 10 feet. We have three trees of 12 feet. Then we have a tree of 15, a tree of 18, a tree of 19, a tree of 25, and a tree of 31. So now to find the median, we are actually just going to start crossing off values from the largest end and the smallest end, because we want to find the number that is quite literally in the center of all of these uh, data points. So 10 and 31 are going to be taken away. 25 and 10, because we're looking now towards the center, we want to know what's dead center. 19 and 12, 18 and 12, and finally, um, we have two data points here that we need to look at. So with these two numbers, we don't have one easy central number. Now, if we found the median and we were looking at something just like 12, 12, and 15, if those were our only three data points, then this number 12, left alone, would be our median. But unfortunately, in this case, partially to make the division easier for the mean, we have 10 data points, so we're left with two things. 12 and 15. At that point, what we're actually going to do is we're just going to find the middle value between 12 and 15. And so halfway between 12 and 15 is 13.5. And that is our median. If you haven't gotten a chance to write down the definition of median yet, go ahead and pause the video and do that now. And so thinking back to all of these things, how the range is just the difference between the greatest and least values. The mean is the average value of the data set. I find the sum of everything and then divide it by the number of data points. The mode is the one that appears the most often. And the median is the center when you order the points from least to greatest. Go ahead and use these and we're going to look at some the length in minutes as decimals of eruptions of the geyser Old Faithful, uh, one of the more famous geysers um, in Yellowstone National Park. Not the tallest, not the one that sprays the most amount of um, water every time it erupts, but the most famous. So go ahead and pause the video now um, and find the mean, median, mode, and range of these data points um, for the length in minutes of eruptions of Old Faithful. Well, let's start with the more complicated one, or at least the one that involves the most amount of work, and find the mean. Now, I'm going to, when I add these up, I'm going to notice that there's some 
numbers that are going to add up a little bit easier and a little bit nicer than others. For example, 2.2 and 2.8 add up to 5. 2.5 and 4.5 add up to 7. 3.9 and 4.1 add up to 8. And then we just have 4.7 and 4.1 left, which is 8.8. .8. Add these all together. Uh, 8 plus 7 is 15. 15 plus 5 is 20. And so we have 28.8 for the sum of 2.8 plus 2.2 plus 4.7, etc. all through there. Now, the last thing we need to find the mean is to know 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 data points. Divide 28.8 by 8. Uh, 8 goes into 28 three times. 24, 4.8. And then 6 times into 48. I'm not going to write the rest there because... 48 goes into 48 evenly. So our mean then is 3.6 minutes as a mean. Now we want to look at the mean, the median, mode, and range. Let's start over on the right with the range because that's uh, one of the easier ones to find out. 4.7 is our greatest value. 2.2 is our least value. So the range is 2.5 minutes as the range, the difference between the greatest and the least values. Now for the mode, we need to find the data point that appears the most often. Uh, the only data point that appears more than once is 4.1, so our mode is 4.1 minutes. And finally, for the median, ordering it from least to greatest, we have 2.2, 2.8, Nine, yes. 4.1, 4.1, 4.5, So again, we're just going to uh, start taking away the greatest and least values one by one so that we can find out the value that's in the middle. And we're left with something between 3.9 and 4.1 and halfway between is four minutes. So our mean is 3.6 minutes, our median is 4 minutes, our mode is 4.1 minutes, and the range is 2.5 minutes. So the last question that I have for you, so the last thing um, for you to either end the video and write down or pause the video, there's not going to be a whole lot after it, is to ask you, which do you think is the best representation of this data? And let's make sure that we have our values here. The mean was 3.6. The median was 4, the mode was 4.1, and the range was 2.5. So the question is, which, which do you think is the best? If you had to choose exactly one of these to represent the best that you could, this data here, which one would you use to represent the data, to be representative of it, and why?